Hello, good morning. This is my PHP. Today, I'm gonna show you on how to show all packet list when this menu tab is clicked. So let's try to click this one. We don't have controllers yet for this file. So let's create a file named all packet under the controller folder. So under the controller folder, create a new PHP file. Name all packet. Our task here is to show all the packets. So let's open the host that PHP file and copy the codes and paste it on all packets. And let's edit this one. Host to all packet. Now we are done on coding all packet file under the controllers folder. Let's try to click it again. Now we don't have layout yet for our all packet. So let's go to our views folder and create a new folder named packet, all packet. Under the all packets folder, let's create a new file named view.html.php. Let's open the host folder and open the PHP file and copy the codes and paste it on the PHP file on all packet and edit this one host to all packet. Let's delete this one. Now save. Let's go to our host folder, open the template folder and copy the default file and paste it on the all packet. First, let's create a folder named TMPL and paste it on TMPL. Now here let's modify the codes. This is for our layout. Now delete this code until the last code. And let's create a new table. Let's set our head. Then copy this one and paste it below and delete with and here let's put a title for example what we want to show is the plain name Then copy this one and paste it below. 
this one will be data transfer copy this one and paste it below and this one will be FTP so let's try first this three as an example so we already set our T head what we will do now is to create a body to show the data now let's create a for each for first so that we can declare a variable for our items and we can get the data so Now, now on our next tutorial, if this data will be clicked, it will show the details of the list or the packet list. But now, what we are doing is to show all the packet list. So this will be the route for our next tutorial So let's transfer this end bracket to here. Create a new PHP tag and paste the end bracket so that all data will be called. Now we will create our layout to get the data. First, we will get the ID. Now, copy this one and Paste it below. Now, here let's get the plain name. Copy this one and paste it below. Here, let's get the data transfer. Now, paste again below. And here, let's get the FTP. Oh, we forgot to close the TD. 
here. Now let's try to refresh. Now we are done on creating a layout but we need to code the models for our functions. So let's go to our models folder and create a new file and name allpacket.php. Now here, let's get the list of our packet. So what we are gonna do now is create a function get list. So let's code this first. This define a store street accessing this file directly. Now let's create a class. Now let's create a function to get list. And this will be the function protected function get list query let's get first the data from the database so this one will be get dbo and also query So oh, we have a wrong code. We forgot to put D. And also on query, we put a, a and also on and also on query, we put semicolon and delete that one. Now let's create an SQL to get the data from our tables and the hosting hosting list. Oh, we have double arrow. Now, let's set an ordering. What we want to or to set this one? What we want to set this one is by ID.
and let's also return it to query Create an create um and page picture and let's try it again. Refresh it and click this hosting list. Now it shows all packet lists on our menu. Let's transfer the active to hosting list. So let's go to our layout. All packet and transfer this active to hosting list. Refresh. Now we were done. On our next tutorial, we will discuss about on how to show the details on hosting list. When, for example, we click this one, it shows all the details. So, we were done. Have a good day.